Hi everyone. So today I want to talk about some things that most people don't think about when they're planning on stocking up and prepping. One of the things that like today I had to deal with is one of our dogs got in a fight with a groundhog in my backyard. So we had a vet visit, but we tried to control most of the bleeding and everything on our own. What I found out and realized is I don't have the supplies that I thought I did. I need to go to Dollar Tree and pick up some more supplies. Always make sure that in part of your stock that you use, you have emergency needs such as Band-Aids, Neosporin, um, anything like that. I have masks in my bag. I have Band-Aids and Kleenexes and stuff that you might need on a daily on a basis of an emergency you know somebody gets hurt okay let's put some neosporin and a band-aid on it you never know it could be from an earthquake or something falling on you or from tornadoes or whatever i mean there's just so much that can go on now i have a supply of things and i made sure that now I know I need to stock up on because of today. So I will be going to Dollar Tree and for Band-Aids, you can go to any store. Personally, I go and get some of the gauze pads and stuff at Dollar Tree because it's actually cheaper. I haven't compared prices, that I will be doing. But I wanna keep gauze pads, gauze, gauze wraps, some of that stuff on hand along with the neosporin that i already have but i want to have more on hand because you never know i also have uh some other stuff for bug bites and stuff like that always keep that on hand because once again you never know what's going to happen bugs spider bites whatever you always want to make sure you've got something on hand for it now i would at least look at Dollar Tree and maybe compare prices with Walmart. I'm gonna be doing that probably in the next couple days. Um, I already blew my budget for this month, so it's gonna to have to wait till next month, but I do have a few supplies here. And yes, going to the vet didn't help, but she had to have a couple stitches and that's fine. I have a little girl that's a little scrapper and she got into a fight and she, I don't know what the other one looked like, but. <laughs> She's pretty beat up, but only one of the wounds needed a couple stitches. So that was $175 out of our emergency money. So, but that's part of having animals. You wanna make sure you have supplies for your animals, for emergency needs for them, for food for them. Make sure you are stocked up on everything that you could possibly think of. It's not just food. I mean, most people are thinking about shortages and shelves with food and prices of food. Well, medical supplies are part of that too. I have gloves, medical gloves in a drawer in my kitchen. I can use them. I use them when I'm used, like cutting onions and stuff. I use them, but you can use them too. Put them in a medical bag to have for emergencies, for your prepare stockpile prepper stockpile, whatever I prefer stockpile. So I also, as you can probably see behind me, I have pads because I have senior dogs, a couple seniors that use the pads. They don't always, one's blind and she doesn't walk around very well. So she has the pads that she uses here in the house. I won't let her outside. She doesn't know where she's at, but I love them dearly. They're my kids. So I make sure that I have supplies for them as well as supplies for us. So that's my tip for today. Make sure you have plenty of supplies for your dogs and for medical or cats or whatever animals you have. Make sure you have stockpiles of supplies for them. That way they are taken care of as well as you. Please like, share, and subscribe. I can use all the help I can get. Thank you.